Hey everyone, Leo Bond here. I'm back again today for the Best Buy Canada plug-in blog, and this time it's with a look at the Propel T65 X-Wing High Performance Battling Drone. And I previously reviewed Propel's Speeder Bike Drone, and at that time I thought that that was going to be the only Propel drone that I'd be getting my hands on, and for that reason I had to be somewhat selective about which features I focused on in the review because there's really a whole lot going on with these propelled drones and it's easily enough stuff to ramble on for 15 or 20 minutes without ever even getting all that repetitive. So since this one came along somewhat unexpectedly, I thought that for this video I'd take the opportunity to focus on a few things that I maybe touched on with the speeder bike but didn't really elaborate on all that much. And the things that I did discuss in some detail in that video such as the amazing propel packaging that you're seeing on the screen right now with its built in lights and sounds and the way that it serves as an excellent display pedestal for your drone, well I'll still mention many of those things in this video but they'll somewhat take a back seat to a lot of the things that I didn't really go into depth on previously. That way, if you see both of my Propel Drone videos, it won't really feel like you're seeing the same stuff twice. And by watching both rather than just one, you're definitely going to be getting the bigger picture of what these Propel Drones are all about. And also, throughout the video, I will provide lots of flight footage of the X-Wing in action, as well as giving you several close-up shots of the drone to show off its very nice detailing. Because this thing is extremely well sculpted, there's tons of molded in detail, there's even a little R2-D2 molded into the top there, and it's hand-painted as well, which I have to say is also very well done. So overall, it makes an excellent visual representation of the legendary Star Wars X-Wing fighter. So big props to Propel when it comes to the finer details. Anyway, one of the things that I really wanted to highlight in this video was the built-in stunt capabilities of all of these Propel Star Wars drones. So basically, these things can perform barrel rolls to either the left or the right at the simple touch of a button. And I didn't really think that barrel rolls were something that a speeder bike rider would be all that likely to do if such things were really to exist. Seems like pretty risky business to me for a guy that could potentially fall off the bike. So I didn't even attempt these tricks when I had the speeder bike here. But I definitely wanted to try them out with the X-Wing. And it really is as easy as it sounds to pull these tricks off. You just press a very specific button for a right-leaning barrel roll or a different button for a left-leaning roll. So super easy to do and also pretty cool to watch. Now, speaking of cool things to watch, I also wanted to show what the firing lasers look like when you're playing the laser tag or dogfight game that comes with these drones. So this is the front view of what it looks like when you fire your lasers. And basically, from what I was reading up in the instruction manual, when you fire your lasers, you're not really firing a tight beam like you might see in a Star Wars film. It's more like when a Star Trek captain calls for the widest possible spread of photon torpedoes. So it kind of comes out in a conical shape. So that as long as you're within 2 or 3 meters of your opponent and generally facing in their direction, there's a pretty good chance that you're going to get a hit. So you really don't have to be a crack shot like Luke Skywalker trying to blow up the Death Star or anything like that. It's quite a bit easier, otherwise the game might never end. And of course you get three hits in the game before you're shot down. The first two hits will kind of put you into a little bit of a wobble and maybe send you momentarily off course. But you'll soon regain control and you'll keep on playing until that third hit which effectively crashes you because it puts your drone into the auto land mode and then you're out for that round. Although I do believe that you are allowed to return to the game shortly after being shot down. So it all sounds like a whole lot of fun to play and honestly if I owned one of these propelled drones myself I would definitely be looking for a local game to join. Now another thing that's worth taking a pretty good look at here is the Propel Battle Drones app which is honestly incredibly cool. I didn't try the app out at all back when I had the speeder bike here but for this video I really wanted to show it off. It's basically a training app that allows you to use your smartphone in conjunction with the actual drone controller. They sync up via Bluetooth 
to fly a virtual version of your drone around on your device screen and practice all of the different piloting skills that you're going to need if you want to be as good of a pilot as Poe Dameron or Luke Skywalker. And the virtual drone on your screen behaves exactly like the real life drone would if you were legitimately flying it. So every input command that you give through the controller is reflected in real time by the virtual drone on your screen. It's really a lot of fun and it definitely helps to improve one's piloting skills. There are 34 different training missions that you can go on and these include everything from left and right banking to forward and backwards flying and even to accurately firing your weapons. So it's really really cool and it even comes in handy when you're playing the dogfight game for keeping track of uh, hits and other fun stats and whatnot. But the best thing of all, at least in my opinion, is the fact that if the weather outside is bad and you really want to fly your drone, you can just go ahead and do it virtually and probably have almost as much fun. That is, if you don't want to risk flying indoors, which you can do if you've got the space and the confidence to do it in. But if not, it's definitely very, very cool to have the Battle Drones app to fall back on. Now, I just want to quickly show the hobby grade controller that comes with the X-Wing here. And I really just love the mostly white color scheme of this thing. It's a very nice looking controller that runs on four AA batteries, which are not included. And when you're about to put those batteries in, it does something really cool. First, you'll hear this. Mm. Feel the force. The Rebellion needs you. Insert four AA batteries into the battery compartment. And then it follows that up with a fun light up message. And the audio message that you hear is specific to this drone. The speeder bike actually had something different. And anyway, this controller also has a built in speaker, an earphone jack if you want to keep the sound effects to yourself, multiple buttons for all of the different flight features that this thing has, including auto takeoff and landing, arming your weapons system, firing your weapon, performing the stunts. Changing between flight modes, there are actually three different modes for different levels of pilots, and even adjusting the volume of the controller's sound effects or turning them off altogether. There's also a small dial near the controller's left joystick that engages a built-in barometer system that will restrict your drone's altitude to roughly 6 feet or 2 meters when you're in that most basic flight mode, and this can definitely be helpful for beginning or inexperienced pilots. So this controller really has a lot going on. It's ergonomic, it has an extendable arm to hold your phone, a loop for installing a lanyard, a built-in screwdriver for removing or affixing the battery hatch cover, and three little lights at the top that represent your three lives in that very cool laser tag game. Now, just to tie up a couple of loose ends here, the Propel X-Wing itself comes with two rechargeable batteries in the form of its cockpit section, and these batteries should give you approximately six to eight minutes of total flight time each on a roughly 90% charge, which takes about 25 to 30 minutes to do for each battery using the included fast charger. Now, other key accessories here include a crash cage that's very easy to install if needed, an extremely useful prop changing tool, and enough total props for three complete outfittings of the drone. And that's pretty much all I'm going to say about the Propel X-Wing battling drone for now. I really enjoyed having it around, and I suspect that many other Star Wars fans and hobby drone enthusiasts will also have heaps of fun with it. And really the same thing goes for pretty much all of Propel's Star Wars drones. Now, if you enjoyed this video or found it useful, Please give it a like or a share, and subscribe as well for more video reviews of all the latest toys and tech gadgets. As always, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope to see you back here again for the next video. Have an excellent day, and I'll see you soon.